Tektronix has been honored with an Emmy for applying advanced technology in its VM700A automatic video measurement set. The VM700A, another innovation from the Tektronix Television Systems Group. The world-class quality of the VM700A has made it the internationally accepted standard in automatic video measuring devices. Broadcasters, manufacturers, and various other companies from around the globe are successfully using the sophisticated automatic and or manual testing capabilities of the VM700A. Australia, known for its beautiful, wide-open spaces, Sydney's magnificent harbour and opera house, is also the home of Australian telecommunications giant, Telecom. Telecom uses the Tektronix VM700A to solve a particularly daunting communications problem. A nationwide common carrier to various television stations throughout the vast outreaches of Australia, Telecom needed a cost-effective way to test and maintain reliability of signal quality and provide validation of this quality to its clients. After careful consideration, Telecom ordered nearly 100 VM700As to fulfill their needs. Telecom engineers liked the automatic measurement and graphic display capabilities of the VM700A, along with the ease of operation and full remote control facilities. For instance, with the press of a button, telecom operators can obtain differential gain or differential phase, all in an easy-to-read format. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, resides the headquarters of Vivix, America's first nationwide switched fiber optic network to supply broadcast quality television transmissions. The Vivix Television Control Center dynamically and remotely routes television signals from any point to any other point or set of points connected to the nationwide Vivix network via sophisticated switching software. It also allows Vivix to guarantee superior quality and reliable fiber optic television transmissions to its clients. The VM700A plays a large role in the quality control process. The Vivix Television Control Center monitors more than 50 television switching centers located throughout the country. With the VM700A, operators at the Television Control Center can automatically monitor signals without interrupting the content of the television signal and provide status and alarm readings. System status and alarm readings are automatically reported into the Vivix Television Control Center. In the unlikely event of a circuit failure, the Television Control Center will manage the dynamic process of rerouting all necessary facilities in seconds, eliminating potential loss of signal. Vivic's success in accomplishing its goal of a dependable, high-quality fiber-optic television transmission is apparent with all the major broadcast networks and cable companies in their customer ranks. Those are just a few examples of the VM700A's applications. The following will give you a quick overview of many of the VM700A's capabilities. For detailed setup and operational information, remember to consult the quick video manual. The VM700A is five measuring devices in one. Its functions include waveform, vector, picture, measure, and auto mode. All five functions are easily accessible through a 15-button keypad with secondary functions available from soft key selections on the touch screen. The factory default mode at power-up is the waveform mode. This mode can display from a few hundred nanoseconds up to 11 video lines. The signal is digitized, so the screen will remain at a constant brightness throughout any operation. And, since the graticule is computer-generated, it can continuously track the waveform during expansion and reduction, in both vertical and horizontal directions, to permit detailed examination of the signal. Another advantage of a digitized signal is the use of the average mode function. It provides clear display of a signal with up to 30 decibel noise reduction 
which can be extremely helpful while performing repeatable measurements during noisy transmitter or link environments. In waveform, menu-selectable cursors are provided for manually measuring voltage, frequency, timing intervals. Time and amplitude characteristics, such as 10, 50, or 90 percent points of a transition, can be easily accessed. The control knob is used to scan through and select a line, or simply touching the screen gives instant access to a specific line. The VM700A offers a system line approach to operation. It automatically stays on the line being measured during mode changes. This provides a quick path to varied measurements of a single line. The vectorscope mode displays a conventional vectorial representation of the video signal, and the rotary control permits accurate gain or phase adjustments, in addition to independent line selection. The Select Line button can access numerous lines through turning the knob or using the soft keys on the screen. In the Vectorscope mode, for example, touching Find Color Bar will automatically search the input video and display the color bar vectors if found. Picture mode simply provides a low-resolution raster scan picture for source verification. The display corresponds to the channel that is currently selected. In Measure mode, the operator can choose from various different measurements. Many conventional measurements, which are time-consuming or require extensive interpretation, can be easily accomplished in Measure mode. For example, during a typical horizontal timing measurement, you can press the Menu button, which will display the following options. Pressing Average Num specifies the weighting factor to be used for averaging. The range is 1 to 256, with factory default value of 32. To change the average num value, simply press the soft key to highlight it. Rotate knob until the desired weighting factor appears, then press average num soft key again. For measurements based on FCC standards, simply press FCC. For RS-170A standard measurements, press the RS-170A soft key. Like waveform, measure mode has expansion capabilities and rescaling for the appropriate scaling factor at your fingertips. The auto mode makes unattended measurements on a continuous basis. These measurements can be compared with user-defined limits and an alarm message generated when these limits are violated. This babysitting capacity is extremely flexible and can create automatic reports at defined times of day, plus document or communicate measurement results to a local printer and or a central monitoring point via modem and telephone or data line. The measurements and the associated limits are highly configurable, which allows for customization to user needs. Those are the five main functions of the VM700A. To accomplish many of these operations, a basic understanding of configuring is essential. Many of our users find configuring the most interesting part of the instrument. The VM700A's operations are controlled by a hierarchy of files and directories, beginning with the source selection video file in the non-volatile RAM config files directory and extending to other files in subdirectories of non-volatile RAM config files. By varying the contents of these files and subdirectories, you can customize the VM700A's operation to suit specific measurement requirements and switch quickly between VM700A setups as needed to perform different operations. For instance, the current video input, as indicated by the front panel source button, is now A. This selection determines which video source file out of the video source file directory will be used by the instrument. Here's how a typical source selection video file would look. Channel A, transmitter number 1. B, transmitter number 2. C, studio 1. Since we chose channel A, the source selection video file would direct us to read the TX1 file from the video source files directory. This file in turn controls which files below are used to obtain operational information. For example, the TX1 file contains an auto-limit file 
and uses this file's information to find out which limits would be used for auto mode measurements. The TX1 has a selected measurements file designated to call up a file which defines which measurements are to be monitored when in auto mode. And on down the line. So, the source selection video file assigns the environment to a channel while the file in the video source files directory defines the measurement environment. This gives the VM700A the flexibility of multiple measurement assignments by simply changing entries in the source selection video file. Of course, a solid understanding of how to configure each file to your specific needs is vital to taking full advantage of this powerful aspect of the VM700A. The Configure button provides access to utilities allowing editing of files which control many aspects of the VM700A's operating environment. Pressing the Configure button brings up a display which tells you the amount of non-volatile memory used and free, shown in words as well as in bar graph form, a list of the installed options and software versions, and three soft keys, Time, Configure Files, and Function Keys. The Time soft key brings up a display and submenu for the VM700A's built-in clock. This is extremely useful when setting predetermined timed reports. The function soft key is used to display a directory along with a submenu that lets you rename, edit, delete, and print out function keys. To create a function, keystrokes are simply recorded and saved. The operator can now execute the saved function by pressing the function key and selecting the newly created function soft key. For now, let's concentrate on the most powerful of the configure soft keys, namely, configure files. After pressing the configure button, Touching the config files soft key will display the directory window for the non-volatile RAM config files. There are two kinds of icons on the screen, file and directory. A file consists of a single rectangle and is simply a collection of information. Directory icons are represented by two overlapping rectangles. Directories are structures containing zero or more files or other directories. To enter a directory, simply touch the icon you wish to enter. Whenever a directory is opened, a soft key called Leave Directory will appear below the directory window. Pressing this will close the directory. All of the directories and most of the files supplied with the VM700A are read-only files, which cannot be edited, renamed, or deleted. However, these files can be copied to create new files which can be renamed and customized. To create a new file, press the Configure button followed by the Config File soft key and the directory of your choice. We'll use selected measurements. Now, press the Create File soft key. You'll notice the words, Please select a file as template at the top of the display. Touch the icon corresponding to the file you want to copy. In this example, we'll pick the default file in the selected measurements file, which tells the VM700A which measurements to make. Your new file is a copy of all the factory selected measurements. It can now be renamed and then edited. To rename, simply type the file's new name using the soft key keyboard. A maximum of 31 characters are allowed. We'll call it Tom's Selected Measurements. In the Tom's Selected Measurements file, each measurement is either selected on the left side of the display or not selected on the right-hand side. Our file, because it's a direct copy of the system default file, currently has all measurements selected. To change this, we simply scroll to the measurement we want to delete and touch it over to the not selected side of the screen. We can repeat this process until we're only using the selected measurements we desire. When we're finished, we touch the Update and Exit soft key, and our new file 
named Tom's Selected Measurements, is complete and ready to be used. Let's go on to our next file, the Auto Limits file, which tells us what limits should be used in checking measurements. It's nearly the same process as before. We press Leave Directory and then Auto Limit Files. We create a new file with Create File. We'll select End to End, which is always present and has factory set auto limits. Name the file Tom's Auto Limits. Press Done. Now, to modify an auto limit, we can scroll with our control knob and highlight limits we want to change. A box will appear around the limit and we can then change these. Let's say we want to change our lower limits of the caution in our blanking level from 72 to 74. We highlight it and scroll to our desired limit. Select the Accept input, which completes the process and returns the scrolling knob to its scrolling function. We can do the same with our upper limits, changing it from 76 to 79. We can also move over to our lower and upper limits under Alarm and change those from 69 to 70 and from 79 to 81. We can adjust all the limits in this fashion, and when we're done, finish by selecting Update and Exit. The next step is to create a video source file which uses the files we just created. Select the video source file directory soft key, then press Create. Select a file to use as template. Type in your file name, let's call it TX1. Press Done. Use the knob to scroll to the first line in the file which selects the auto limits file. Touch the current file name to enable the editing mode. Turn the knob until your newly created file, Tom's Auto Limit, appears. Touch Accept Input. Now highlight the selected measurements file and go through the same process. Touch Existing File. Scroll until you find your other new file. Touch Accept Input. Now we've set up a configuration that we can save. Simply touch update, and exit. All that remains is to assign our newly created configuration to a channel. Press Leave Directory. Then select the Source Selection video file. Scroll until Source A is highlighted and touch the current file name. The highlighted box lets you know you're in editing mode. Now select TX1. By pressing Accept Input, and then Update and Exit, the channel assignment process is completed. Here's how this would look on our configuration flowchart. We've just created an Auto Limits file called Tom's Auto Limits. And we created a Selected Measurements file called Tom's Selected Measurements. Then we created a video source file called TX1, which uses Tom's Selected Measurements and Tom's Auto Limits. Now, if channel A was being monitored, the source selection video file would use these new files we created and implement them into our measurements. This ease of configurability is one of the main strengths the VM700A has to offer. Tektronix VM700A, internationally accepted as the most powerful video measuring device on the market flexible enough to fulfill just about any video measurement needs. For anyone measuring television signals, a nationwide broadcaster, common carrier, equipment manufacturer, cable operator, tech will help ensure your customers receive the very best product. The VM700A, another innovation from the Tektronix Television Systems Group.